this is my electric longboard. And one of our first projects was actually adding new pixel LED strips to the bottom of this board. I've been meaning to redo this project. This time we're gonna integrate the NeoPixel LEDs into 3D printed truck risers. Truck riser pads are basically pieces of plastic that go in between your skate trucks and your board. And this can help prevent wheel bite, especially since it elevates the board from the trucks. They're also really helpful when you're pushing and sliding, especially since it lowers your center of gravity. A lot of good reasons to use them, especially for longboards. So I've seen some LED truck risers on Amazon and eBay, but for this project, we're gonna use the Adafruit Feather Blue Fruit. Having Bluetooth connected, NeoPixel LEDs can be pretty useful because you can change the color, set the brightness, and even trigger animations all through your smartphone. So the plan is to design and 3D print the enclosure and then put in the electronics. All the electronics are gonna be mounted with machine screws. That way it'll minimize the vibrations from all that writing. I'm also using standard mounting holes. This way it'll work on modern skate trucks, so hopefully the tolerances will all line up when this is 3D printed. So I went ahead and sliced the part, so now it's ready for some 3D printing. I'm using some PLA, which is pretty common, but I have a pretty high infill, so hopefully it's strong enough. For folks who don't have a 3D printer, you can actually still make this project. You can check out a 3D printing service like 3dhubs.com. There you can find a local maker who has a 3D printer and they'll actually 3D print it and ship it to you. So the 3D printed part came out really well, um, but before I install the electronics, I think it's a good idea to test write it a little bit just to make sure that it is durable enough to hold my weight. So it's a good idea to test it before I install the electronics. Okay, so I just finished installing the truck risers without the electronics. Of course, I had to use some longer hardware. So it's installed and let's go test it out and see if it's all good. All right, so I've been testing for about an hour. I made sure to be easy at first, but now I'm doing some really hard carves, going over the pavement, going over speed bumps. I'm pretty confident this thing's gonna hold up. So let's go ahead and install the electronics. To wire all of the electronics together, we just need a couple of tools like a soldering iron and some wire cutters. I also like to use a pan of ice and third helping hands just because it makes things a lot easier when you're wiring them. I also like to use silicone coated wires just because it's really flexible and heat resistant, but you don't have to use this stuff. You can use whatever you have on hand. So for this project, I'm using the Adafruit Feather Blue Fruit. This is an Arduino compatible microcontroller with a Bluetooth module. This high density NeoPixel stick will be the headlights. I'm gonna use a 500 milliamp LiPo battery for power and an on off switch. So I'm documenting this whole project and basically taking photos of each step. I'm gonna put all of this together in a learning guide so folks can actually follow along and build this project for themselves. There's not a whole lot of steps, so I think this is gonna be a pretty good project for people that are new to electronics and looking to get into the hobby. So with all of the wiring done, I can go ahead and install this back underneath the trucks. So I just uploaded some code to the Adafruit Feather. This is NeoPixel demo sketch, which so just cycles through these awesome animations. There's also a color picker mode, so I can change the colors and brightness using my iPhone. That's pretty cool. I think we are ready to give this a test drive. Thank you. 
I'm really happy with this project. I think embedding NeoPixels into the trucks is a really elegant solution, and having connectivity over Bluetooth just makes it super easy. When the battery gets low, I can just plug in USB and recharge the battery. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Adafruit channel for new DIY projects every week.